Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install the Roll-X tonneau cover on this 2014 Toyota Tundra 5.5 foot bed. Let's go ahead and get started. Now this truck has the deck rail system. If it did not have the deck rail system, we just clamp the rails right into place and go forward. But first what we're going to do is we're going to drop this deck rail system so we can fit those clamps in there. First, remove the deck rail. And it comes off with a T30 Torx bit. On the five and a half foot bed, you're going to have five per side. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the deck rail right out. We we'll want to remove the little Christmas tree fasteners that are installed from the factory. Each one of the factory locations where the T30 Torx bolt came out, what we're going to do is we're going to hold uh, where one of the, the holes in the bracket goes up against that hole. We're going to take our 7 16 bolt, run it through a washer, Drop that through the bracket, turn that around. I'm going to take our lock nut, put it in place on top of that bolt. For right now, we're just going to put it on finger tight and put all the rest of them in. Now that we've got these on finger tight, we're going to hold them up to the factory holes that they came out of. We're going to loosely put the same T30 Torx bolts back through, hold it in place. Next, we're going to take a 7 16 wrench, hold on to the back side of the, the bolt, and take a 7 16 socket. I'm using a deep well uh, with a quarter inch driver. That way, I've got a socket that will fit into the deck rail system. And we're going to tighten that down. We do that on all five. Next, we're going to go ahead and tighten up these T30 Torx bolts and repeat the same steps on the other side. Now, just as a side note, you'll want to install your tie-down cleats into the deck rail system before you actually reattach the deck rails to the side of the truck. Now, if you don't have tie-down cleats and you're going to get them just like on this truck, you can go ahead and assemble them. Then once you go to put in the tie-down cleats, take out your Torx bolts, insert your tie-down cleats, and everything will be lined right up for you to put them back onto the truck. So we've cleaned off the top of the bulkhead with some alcohol, and we've applied the bulkhead seal to the top closest to the inside ledge. We just peel away the adhesive and stick it to it. We're going to bring it all the way to the edge, uh, up to the bed cap, and trim that into place. Now it's time to install the rails. I'm going to start with the driver's side rail. What we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the end with a plate on it, go towards the bulkhead. Uh, it's going to hang actually on top of the bed cap. We're going to remove this all the way up to the bulkhead, rest it in place, and then we're going to slide it back until this rubber bumper actually touches the tailgate. Now what we're going to want to do is spread the clamp apart and reach up and pinch down between the rail and the bed cap. Now we'll make sure that the teeth in the clamp marry up to the grooves in the rail of the truck. Put it in there. As we're holding it together, we're going to take with our fingers and tighten it up finger tight. We're going to take our 9 16 wrench and give it a couple of quarter turns to where it's starting to grab a hole. Then we want to make sure that the rail is nice and tightly positioned in place while we finish it up. Each side is going to get three clamps evenly spaced. The passenger side is going to go together just like the driver's side. Next, what we're going to want to do is set the cover on top of the rails close to the tailgate. We want to make sure that these black tabs are resting on top of the channel inside the rail. We want to have it set 
to where when this rolls down, the strike points are going to hit the strike points on the rail uh, to where the bumper on the back side of the, the cover is going to match up to the bumper on the rail. And then we're going to take, pull off our packaging material back, start rolling that towards the bulkhead. When the front of the cover reaches the bulkhead, we're going to notice we've got a couple of tracks that run the length of the, the bulkhead piece. We've got a hardware pack that was wrapped up in with our brackets, or our clamps. We're going to take two of the long bolts and run them into that track, two on each side. And once we have them lined up into here, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate them to where they drop down into this slot. We want to make sure that happens on both sides. Next, we want to go ahead and roll the cover gently up to the bulkhead so we can attach the bolts to our hardware. Now we're back up underneath the cover. Here's the bolts coming down out of the cover, going through the tab in the side rail. Uh, one thing to note, we're going to be working around this spring, so we're going to move that out of the way. For each one of these bolts, we're going to have a flat washer and a uh, rubber washer. The rubber washer goes up first, followed by the flat washer. Then we're also going to have a lock washer and a wing nut. We're going to put those on finger tight for right now. We can do that on both sides, and then we're going to go back to the rear bolt and do the same thing while we're holding the spring out of the way. Now before we completely tighten down the wing nuts up at the front, what we want to do is make sure that our uh, rail tabs are evenly spaced side to side with the same amount of gap on each side uh, of the inside of the rail. And also, we want to make sure that our rubber bumper at the back for our gasket is going to line up to the uh, rubber bumper that rides on the inside of the rail here. Next we want to attach our bump stops. These bump stops are actually going to attach to the cover. What I've done is I've rolled up the cover nice and tight uh, to see where it's going to contact if it rolls all the way up to the cab. Uh, tight position, it's going to contact here. So I've wiped this area down with alcohol. I'm going to tear off one of my bump stops. Peel away the 3M tape. And adhere the bump stop to that slat. Now if it was a little bit looser, it would actually contact here. So I'm also going to attach a bump stop in this location. We can do that on both sides. Last thing we need to do is pull our straps down. And we're going to tighten down these bolts to hold the straps in place. Going to put them in, in place finger tight. And we've also got an extra set of, ser of serrated flange nuts that we're going to use to lock down on top of that nut. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out. <laughs>